हे गाइस हाउ इज इट गोइंग दिस इज माला तेज भारत वॉज यू आर चिल्ड्रेट मेडिको एंड वेलकम टू माई चैनल एंड टूडे एज अ बिग डे बिकॉज वी आर गोन टॉक अबाउट केमिस्ट्री यस एस्पेशली ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री विच इज़ वन ऑफ द मोस्ट ट्रेडेड सब्जेक्ट्स फॉर अ लॉर्ड ऑफ नीट एस्पेरेंस टूडे इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू हाउ टू ईजिली अप्रोच ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री एंड स्कोर वेल इन इट सो विदाउट फर्दर एड यू लेट्स गेट इन टू द वीडियो द मेजर प्रॉब्लम most aspirants face when they try to approach organic chemistry is they will not understand where to start from and what to study the organic chemistry syllabus that we have for uh, neat is fairly straightforward and it is not that complicated when you start studying organic chemistry you can divide it into three main categories the first part the first category being the structure so when you take the structures part you will study different types of bonds their associated properties and uh, the type of structures they undergo like the different types of orientations or isomerisms all these things come under the structure part the second important part is reactions and reaction mechanisms this is the area where a lot of students find it very difficult but uh, i would say once you start studying the reaction and reaction mechanisms it becomes fairly easy and straightforward because uh, the things that we study for need is very limited and you don't have to go beyond ncrt into a lot of complex reactions to study that is when things get uh, extremely complex so i would suggest you stick with ncrt for all the reactions and re reaction mechanisms and it will be fairly straightforward and simple in this reaction mechanism part you will study about different types of reagents and how they react with different types of compounds so if you have a fair idea about what reagent causes what type of reaction it becomes fairly simple and you can do it on your own and you can also recall reagents as and when the need arises you and the third part and the most easiest part in organic chemistry is the named reactions i tell this is easy because there are a few reactions that have been mentioned in the textbook and all you need to know is these reactions nothing else nothing else out of ncrt will be asked so don't worry about going outside learning a lot of named reactions which are not useful for you at all they will not not ask any of these things so what i would tell you is stick to ncrt for named reactions and just study all the named reactions that are given in ncrt book and you will be 100% ready to answer every single question that is asked from organic chemistry after dividing our chemistry into these three parts uh, i am going to tell you how to approach each one of them and it is fairly easy and simple you don't have to break your head for those things for the first part the structures its properties and its nomenclature i would strongly suggest you stick to the ncrt textbook the information given in the book is more than sufficient for you to crack neat for the second part is a little bit complicated because most of the reactions that are given in ncrt textbooks don't have any reaction mechanisms associated with it except for a very few type of reactions so what i would suggest you do for this second part of the reaction and reaction mechanism is study the reaction mechanism part from allen dlp books so allen dlp has two chapters for reaction mechanisms and uh, it is not even that heavy it is like 20 pages so you can easily complete this reaction mechanisms part from the allen dlp and it is in depth and it is also very intriguing and very easy to follow so i'm suggesting you go with allen dlp for reaction mechanisms part and it will help you immensely to remember all the reagents and the reaction mechanisms associated with with it and this will make organic chemistry extremely easy for you and you will not forget anything in the exam for the third part the easiest part as i've told you before you don't have to study anything more than ncrt for the named reaction part just stick with what is given in ncrt and just practice named reactions just write it somewhere or just take a print out of just named reactions and staple it somewhere just keep looking at it whenever you just go around in your room and that is more than sufficient if you do these three things in order you can easily approach and score a lot of marks in organic chemistry without being afraid of it and it will make your life even more easier when you approach chemistry so in summary stick with ncrt for most of organic chemistry and for some parts just the reaction mechanism part i would suggest you go with allen dlp chapters reaction mechanism 1 and reaction mechanism 2 that is it you don't have to study anything else just study these things and just give a lot of mock tests and analyze your problems the most important thing while doing questions 
प्लीज डू नॉट इग्नोर दी एक्सरसाइज क्वेश्चन दैट आर गिवन एट द एंड ऑफ द चैप्टर मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम्स द क्वेश्चन दैट आर आस्ट आर डायरेक्टली फ्रॉम दिस एक्सरसाइजेज सो प्लीज सॉल्व दिस एक्सरसाइजेज एंड विल बी मोर देन सफिशियंट फॉर यू टू प्रिपेयर फॉर द एग्जाम ट्रस्ट मी इट इज मोर देन सफिशियंट just solve the exercise questions that are given in the end of the book and you will be ready to face the exam so guys if you have not started organic chemistry i would suggest you start it today with this information in mind and i am sure you will find it very 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 easy to comprehend things and to write exams if you found this content useful please like the video and subscribe to my channel for more awesome content like this and i will see you in the next video until then bye bye